When we bought this farm in uh, 1987, it was a, an, actually an abandoned farm. It had been vacant for almost four years. And prior to that, it had been in a family for 100 years or more. And uh, like everything else in North Georgia, an old cotton farm, it was uh, highly eroded, topsoil absent, and in need of a lot of care. Terry Chandler is a man dedicated to caring for the land. Over the years, Chandler has diligently worked to reverse decades of soil erosion. In the early 90s, as the farm transitioned from row crops to livestock production, Chandler began taking steps to help the soil. He began incorporating a rotational grazing system. There are many, many benefits we have found to the intensive rotational system, and, and essentially what that is, we put a lot of cattle in a small space for a short period of time, and then we move them. And immediately we began to see the improvements in, the, in forage production and in soil health, uh, and actually uh, soil building from the from the practices that we began using there. Even though each small step to rebuild the soil has left a noticeable impact on Chandler's land, he felt that there was more to be done. That meant taking advantage of a relationship he's formed with his local USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service experts over the years. So we recruited all the help we could get and NRCS had been with us the whole time. NRCS grazing land specialist Philip Brown works throughout the state to help producers like Terry Chandler improve soil health on their land. There's a lot of things already in place here, uh, particularly from a soil health standpoint. We had limited uh, disturbance, we had uh, living roots growing throughout the year, we had uh, good soil cover. Uh, the one thing that was missing in, from those principles would be uh, the diversity in the plant community, trying to diversify the microbial community. Brown and Chandler developed a plan to diversify the winter grazing that was usually planted each year. We've added in uh, five species in this mix, cereal rye, ryegrass, uh, hairy vetch, chicory, and red clover in this mix. And, and the, the hairy vetch, uh, it, you can see from some of the shots, has, has done the best. But uh, this really what we wanted was a, a strong legume content for uh, high quality grazing, biomass production, and, and also nitrogen uh, fixation. And, back into the system. So what does this all mean? Grazing, grazing days have improved. Forage utilization has improved considerably over open grazing, although again, we don't try to, we don't try to uh, exclusively manage for that. We like to think we get somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% forage utilization, and the rest of it becomes part of the, uh, going back to the, to the soil. What it means is that we're getting uh, more organic carbon into the soil, which uh, is gonna feed a diverse microbial population and that's going to lead to uh, better cycling of nutrients throughout the system, which is going to lead to more profitability and less need for purchased fertility for the producer. Other benefits are evident too. The continued use of the rotational grazing system and diverse interseeding have left a positive impact on the surrounding wildlife community. It's been a, it's been a wildlife bonanza. Uh, deer love it, turkey that we never saw for the for 15 years we were here on the farm, we never saw any turkeys. We actually have counted a flock of as many as 50 but it's because they're not having to compete with the cattle for, for an area. As Chandler and his local NRCS team work to continue helping the land on his farm, he wants others to know the value of getting assistance from agencies like NRCS. The technical part's where I place most of the emphasis on. I think that's where the, that's where the real value is. The financial aspect of it, uh, it, it, no question it made it easier to do what we're doing, but I don't think it made us do anything different. Uh, it helped us do what we were gonna do a little sooner made with a little more financial ease, but the, uh, the, the technical support part of it, that's, where, that's the value for me.